Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. So obviously the Afterlife DLC came out today. Everyone got a chance to play it and honestly the DLC is pretty good. However, this video is to tell you the items that you should not purchase by any means in this DLC because they're either scams or they're not worth it. So make sure you guys are liked and subscribed for more videos just like this. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right on in into the two quick shout outs of the day. And right after that, we'll get into the actual video. So the first quick shout out of the day goes to an awesome YouTube channel known as Dreadhead LA. He posts hilarious and crazy content to his YouTube channel that is uncut and raw, and there are no fake pranks on his channel. He does everything from vlogs to reactions to pranks, and also does some gaming videos here and there as well so go ahead and check out his channel in the description down below and subscribe over there for videos just like that and the final quick shout out of the day goes to no brains he has a really awesome youtube channel where he has a ton of free no copyright music that anyone can download and use in their videos the music on this channel is super premium, high quality, and honestly is some really good no copyright music. So if you guys are wanting to check that out, his link to the channel will be in the description down below. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right on in into this video. So I'm sure most of you guys already know this, but with the update, there were 10 different nightclubs added. Now these nightclubs are all scattered around the Los Santos area, and they range from different price points. Some of the cheaper nightclubs can save you anywhere from $600,000 to $700,000. And after playing the DLC and analyzing pretty much everything, I'm here to tell you that there is absolutely no need to purchase the more expensive nightclub. They don't give you anything extra, and especially with all the different nightclubs, you can purchase a cheaper nightclub and it could be at a better location for you. The more expensive nightclub is the one that was in the trailer originally, and that's over 1.7 million just to start, and after you customize and add everything, that price skyrockets to over 4 million dollars. Now if you were to buy a cheaper one, if you and if you were to customize everything, it would actually be under 3 million dollars all the way customized. So you would be saving approximately over a million dollars inside GTA Online by not purchasing the more expensive nightclub because the more expensive nightclubs are there for no reason. The cheap ones give you the same exact access that the more expensive ones give you. Now let's talk about upgrades for your nightclub. So with the upgrades, they have a handful of different things, including like smoke you can add to the dance floor. You can get dancers, you can get custom lights. But let's talk about all that right now. So a handful of nightclub upgrades actually stood out to me as being a complete waste of money after I purchased my nightclub inside GTA Online, so I want to warn you guys as well. So first off, the smoke on the floor does not do much effect. It is a very, very expensive upgrade, and you can be spending that money somewhere else. The smoke on the floor is a little effect, and it does look nice, I will be honest. However, there is no point of spending money on that when you can spend that money on customizing the car and actually adding something that improves something else. It is cool looking, but at the end of the day, it really does not provide any value. Second thing is the dancers. The dancers obviously do look cool as well. However, when you're in a nightclub with so many people and a stage and everything, there really is no point of having the dancers there. And from my test, they don't even drag any new people into the nightclub. It is the same thing for everyone, whether you purchase these upgrades or you didn't. So overall, the dancers are not something that I personally would purchase inside my nightclub if I was running low on cash or I just wanted to spend money on something else. And finally is the floor upgrade. So you can add extra floors to both your bunker and your garage with these nightclubs. I believe with the garage you can add like five extra floors and then with the bunker you can add four extra floors. But honestly, there is no point of buying these extra floors. Now, I personally did purchase them because I purchased everything expensive on my stream earlier today. However, from the looks of things, most people are not going to really need that much space in their nightclub. Of course, that is nice to future-proof it and to purchase extra space that may be useful down the road, 
from the looks of things you don't really need that many upgrades or that much extra space so maybe purchasing maybe one level of each or maybe one level of a bunker and then two levels of the garage would be just fine for most people so don't go ahead and upgrading everything to the max because honestly it may look cool because you'll have a ton of floors but at the end of the day you're not going to be using that so that can be wasted money that could be used towards something else like upgrading a car or purchasing something else now let's backtrack for a second and talk about the upgrades that you should be spending your money on inside gta online now these upgrades are actually found on the computer after you do one of the setup missions inside the game so after you do one of the setup missions you actually can upgrade security and staff and bartenders inside the game and what that do is it will drag in more customers and all that is done after you purchase your nightclub so pretty much what i can say is the upgrades that you get to purchase when you actually buy the nightclub aren't actually useful the only upgrades that matter are the ones that you purchase after the nightclub on the computer when you're playing but yeah that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video hopefully you guys found this video informative if you did please drop a like and subscribe down below i post daily gta 5 videos just like this and it would really help me out if you guys can subscribe down below and also be sure to click that bell icon right next to the subscribe button and what that'll do it'll send you a little nifty notification on both your phone and your computer if you're using chrome whenever i upload a brand new video and you just click the notification and you get right to my video right away so be sure to do that if you you guys are a fan of gta online but that's pretty much gonna wrap it up again go ahead play the new dlc hopefully you guys are enjoying it as much as i am but i'll be sure to see you guys tomorrow with yet another gta online video but until then have an awesome day and i'll be sure to talk to you guys then